Welcome to That's Good Sports. I'm your host, Brandon Perna, and today I bring the sad news about Demarius Thomas, who at age 33 died yesterday. Uh, I know that news gutted all of Broncos country Thursday night. I'm still shocked. I still don't know exactly what to say or how to process process this, but I wanted to do my best to honor DT, and not just because he was a great Bronco, was key during the glory days, but because I think he was an incredibly humble and genuinely great person who touched so many people who met him, worked with him, came in contact with him, and I think we're all hurting today uh, with the news about losing Demarius Thomas way too soon. Here's a quote I saw today from Peyton Manning uh, about Demarius Thomas. DT was a better person than he was a player, and he was a Hall of Fame player. That tells you how good of a person he was. He treated my kids like they were his own. He was there for every teammate's charity event. Uh, Manning texted with Demarius Thomas on Tuesday and said he was talking about a touchdown audible we called versus Arizona in 2014. Absolutely devastated which I think just shows how shocking DT's departure from the world is. So today, we'll pay tribute to DT. Pass off, Demarius Thomas, out over the 45 midfield. Here we go, 40, 35, foot race, 20, 15, 10, touchdown, Denver, it's over! It's over in Denver! We'll just start with what happened, what we know right now. Demarius Thomas was found dead in his home in Georgia on Thursday evening. A cousin of DT said that the family believes he died from seizures, which he had been suffering from for over a year and believed Demarius Thomas may have had one while showering alone at home. That's from Jeff Legwold on ESPN. It also mentioned former teammates noted Thomas may have been suffering from seizures. The official cause of death won't be determined until later today. And I think like most of you, when I heard the news, I was overwhelmed. I was tagged in a few posts about the family member who said something about Demarius Thomas dying on Facebook, but I was waiting, just waiting for like a real source to confirm it. And I was hoping during that time, I was just hoping it wasn't true. And when it was confirmed uh, unexpectedly, I was rocked, rocked with emotion, which I did not see coming. Uh, I was in tears and it was tough. And I think it's because of the character Demarius Thomas possessed. Knowing all he overcame just to get to the NFL and then play at the level he did. But when I heard how he may have died, it really hit close to home for me. The first report was that Demarius Thomas was found dead in his home, no foul play was suspected, and it's believed that he had died from a medical condition. Uh, back in March, March, that's the same thing that happened to my cousin. My cousin, who wasn't even 30 yet, died alone in his home from liver failure. A medical problem many of us didn't even know he had. And hearing the news about Demarius Thomas just brought up, I think, a bunch of raw emotions I still have when I think about my cousin. It's why I couldn't make it through the first 10 minutes of GPS this morning without crying. My cousin was a huge, huge Broncos fan. It's basically all we ever talked about when we hung out. And I know it's stupid, but today I'm wearing his shirt. It's one of the only things, few things I have of his to honor my cousin, to honor DT. And I think uh, what really gets to me here is thinking about all of the family members dealing with Demarius, Demarius's sudden departure, all of his former teammates who are probably wishing they got another moment with him. Uh, that's how I feel still every day when I think about my cousin. And I know this show shouldn't be treated like my personal therapy session, but I think if I feel this heartbroken about Thomas, then some of, maybe many of you may be feeling the same, and that's okay. I know it's weird to feel so strongly about losing someone you didn't actually know, but don't be ashamed of those emotions. Uh, I hope together here we can share our love for him, what he meant to all of us, and hopefully, even if it's just a tiny bit, help the healing process, and most importantly, do justice 
to Demarius Thomas's legacy as a great person. Demarius did not have an easy go around growing up. His mom was in prison for most of his life. Something Demarius Thomas helped change when he became a star, uh, helping getting her sentence pardoned by President Obama. I only mention this because I think DT is an example to anyone who is facing unfavorable circumstances and that when life gives you those lemons, you can say, fuck those lemons. You're sour. And there are oranges right over there. And even though it's going to be really hard for me to get over there, I'm gonna buy me some damn oranges. As the metaphor goes. I do wanna touch on some of my favorite Demarius Thomas moments on the football field. The Tim Tebow play. It's probably both DT and Tebow's most famous professional play. A close second for Tebow, of course, is running shirtless in the rain for the Jets. I remember exactly where I was when that happened, when uh, the, the touchdown, the walk-off touchdown against the Steelers in overtime happened. I remember where I was when that happened. Play fakes in the pocket, sets, throws, pass, caught. Demarius Thomas out over the 45 midfield. Here we go, 40, 35, foot race, 20, 15, 10, touchdown, Denver is over! It's over in Denver! Tim Tebow tweeted this about Demarius Thomas today. So many are going to remember him for his athletic ability, but I'll be remembering him for his kindness, his smile that would light up a room, and the love he had for those in his life. I also know Tim Tebow is personally talking to God right now and negotiating a better place for Demarius Thomas in heaven. I imagine Tebow's like, God, I know, I know DT's got a nice, nice room up there in heaven. But can we bump him up to the VIP penthouse? Come on, God, it's me, Tim Tebow. Tom Brady referred to Thomas as a source of light. And for as good at football as Tom Brady is, you'd think he'd be able to tell the difference between Demarius Thomas and a lamp. I also wanted to talk about some of my favorite Demarius Thomas touchdowns, which were all the touchdowns against the Chiefs, Chargers, or Raiders which in 2013, he had five TDs against AFC West opponents and 587 receiving yards. Facing a four-man rush, sets in the pocket, looks to the end zone, floats one to the end zone. Thomas with the one-handed catch, touchdown Denver, the catch of the year. During the playoffs that season, he also averaged over 100 receiving yards per game and scored a touchdown in every postseason game. I think we'll all remember Demarius setting the Broncos franchise record for receiving yards against the Arizona Cardinals. DT slapped AZ with 226 receiving yards and two TDs. He also caught Peyton Manning's record-setting touchdown against the 49ers. That was Manning's 509th NFL TD pass, moving him ahead of Brett Favre before Drew Brees and Tom Brady eventually shattered that record. One of my all-time favorite Bronco nicknames belongs to DT. Though it lived in the dark and giant shadow cast by Big Dick Decker, I always preferred Demarius Targaryen to the phallic reference. And I'll fight anyone who disagrees with me on this. DT was the goat of bubble screens. I think we as Broncos fans learned that play, that simple looking play that seemed to always work with Manning and Demarius actually was the result of elite level skill. The Broncos are playing the Lions this week, and on Wednesday, I saw this clip of DT jump balling Darius Slay. Darius Slay! I kept thinking about that play all week. Now it resonates more. DT made Darius Slay look like Darius Rucker! I kept thinking about how good Demarius Thomas was and how little it feels like we acknowledge his greatness. He was special and should be remembered as one of the best to ever do it. The response to DT's passing on Twitter was actually pretty amazing. But it's sad that it takes a tragedy like this to get all of us to stop being assholes for a few minutes on social media. The outpouring of love for him is the kind of thing that gives me hope for humanity. I saw so many great DT clips pop up and I wanted to play this one that Bic Lombardi got when DT was at Peyton Manning's Hall of Fame induction. I'm, I'm, I'm blessed and I'm happy. Uh, of 
course, you know, we all wish we were still playing and doing things, but you know, I'm trying to find that next hitch, but I'm enjoying it. I can't say that. I don't compare quarterbacks. He's one of the, 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 the best that ever done it. How much and he's better a teacher. Yeah. He's a teacher of the That's game. That's the thing I was going to tell you. How much better did he make you, your teammates, your team? He made us better as a whole. I never was able, I never was on the field with a quarterback where I can call a play to the quarterback because of the coverage. And he come to me the same play and we score a touchdown. I never done it in my game and I was able to do that with Peyton and I knew that was different when I was able to do that with him. That's right. DT was telling Peyton Manning which plays to audible to. That's how good he was. And Vic Lombardi, the man who posted that clip, is someone who has personally done everything he could to help me in my career in this weird world of sports, including going to Super Bowl 50 and getting to cover the Broncos there. So I just wanted to take a second and say thank you to Vic Lombardi for supporting me and helping me. I think DT's passing is a good reminder to tell people you appreciate them, and I appreciate the hell out of Vic, even though I know he wants to punch me right in my dumb face. Now I asked people to share photos or their favorite DT plays or quotes on Twitter, and the response I got was amazing. So many people who felt so strongly about Demarius, and I think genuinely loved him, Someone pointed out DT made one of the most important catches in the Sunday night football snow game against the Patriots, the 2015 season when Brock Osweiler was filling in for Manning. DT had a really bad night, but made a huge catch late in the fourth quarter that helped change the direction of the game. Now coming out of Georgia Tech, DT was like the sequel to Calvin Johnson. His last year as a Yellow Jacket, he went for 1,200 yards on a team that ran the triple option and only threw for a total of 1,800 yards. DT was always held up alongside Des Bryant because they were the two first round picks back in 2010. But that was one thing I thought Josh McDaniels actually got right. The first time DT stepped onto an NFL field, he went for eight receptions, 97 yards, and a touchdown against Seattle. He didn't play all that much as a rookie, but he did burn Darrell Revis in a game where the Broncos should have beaten the Jets. Uh, DT kind of got this injury-prone label to start his career after tearing his Achilles in the 2011 season, but once he came back midseason, he played in 132 straight games, including the postseason. That's incredible. And man, was he clutch when it mattered. Thomas had a touchdown in six of his first seven games, including 204 yards against the Steelers with Tim fucking Tebow throwing him the ball. Now we all blacked it out, but DT caught 13 passes against the Seahawks in Super Bowl 48, which was a record at the time. He was also the only reason the Broncos didn't get shut out, saving us all from even more embarrassment. That was kind of a metaphor for DT as a person. Even though he had an incredibly difficult life, he never gave up and always, always kept a positive attitude. You can make a strong case for DT as the best Broncos receiver of all time based on his per game averages, but at the very least, he was the most talented and explosive wide receiver who's ever worn the orange and blue. Sorry, Jerry Rice. It's a shame that he'll never be there for his induction into the Ring of Fame, but I hope they waive the five-year waiting period and get him in there at the earliest chance they have next season. I saw so many of you saying it felt like you were losing a friend when you heard about the news of DT passing, and I think that's accurate. So rest in peace, Demarius. You are very much loved and you will be sorely missed. And thank all of you guys for watching That's Good Sports for the support here. It means a lot to me, and I hope videos like this are done appropriately and mean something to you as well.